Hi there, everybody. So, uh, this is Rabbi Russell. I just wanted to wish everyone uh, a wonderful Yontif, as we say, uh, a Pesach Sameach Vakasha. I'm not, not worried about people having a Kasha Pesach, much more worried about people enjoying it and having Sameach. So, Sameach Vakasha Pesach. Just a small thought I heard this amazing insight that really touched me very, very deeply. <clears throat> some years ago from the Tom Nareba Shlita Nushalayim. So he uh, was discussing the Arba Bonim and the Haggadah and he mentioned the Chacham, the Rasha, the Tam, these are all descriptions of a person's Mahus, of their nature. And then he, the Haggadah tells us about the She'enu Yadea Lishal, the one who doesn't know how to ask. And he says... We have no idea who he is. He could be a Chacham, he could be a Rasha, he could be a Tam, he could be anything. We don't know because he doesn't ask. He's a different Sug. He's a different type of person and struggle. And we all know that these four sons represent parts of ourselves, struggles within ourselves. Each one is a part of us that we're trying to bring out and feel safe in this world. And he mentioned the following thoughts, so amazing, so profound. It, 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 like I said, it touched me very deeply. The She'enu Yadea Lishal. He said, it's very interesting that the Haggadah answers At Psach Loi. At, feminine. I mean, usually the Bala, the, the Bala Seda, the one leading the Seda, is usually the father. Should say Ato Psach Loi. What's At? In feminine, psach loy, and has that an answer of what to tell him? At psach loy, open, open up for him. And uh, the Rebbe Shlita describes and reflects upon why is he a she'ena yadeh lishol? He doesn't know how to ask. Why is that? And the answer is because he felt so shut down. He felt so unappreciated, so criticized, at times so humiliated, so not taken seriously, so not valued. And therefore he doesn't ask, because he's afraid that if he does ask, he'll be humiliated, or he'll be unaccepted. And tells the Balagoda, the Agoda describes at psach loy, at the feminine, the soft feminine side in the part of us that we all have inside, that gentle, soft, feminine part of ourselves. Use that part of yourself, psachlo, and open him up. He's just fine. All he needs to do is to feel safe. And I thought the insight was so profound and so beautiful, and it's our responsibility primarily to ourselves and then to those around us. At Psachloi, use your loving, feminine, gentle side that everyone has locked up inside themselves somewhere. Everyone has it, both men and women. Find that gentle, soft, accepting, nurturing side of yourself and open up yourself and open up those around you Tune in and listen, validate the inner feelings and concerns and worries and fears and uniqueness of who you are. It's all valuable. It's all important. It's all who you are. Open up that part of yourself. Free yourself to inquire, to ask, to reflect, to connect. And in doing so, we all become part of the safety and part of the society around us that can find a way to recognize our own uniqueness, our own chashivas, and our own value with the unique God-given gifts that we have inside. Let's have the gentle, reflective, feminine side of ourselves, free ourselves to open ourselves up and be comfortable with who we are and value the panemius of who we really are, even if no one had done that for us before. Let's do that for ourselves.
hoping everyone has a meaningful yantif and that we can all move towards the safety and security and the value of being seen and being who we are. Have a good yantif.